Arginvest has been buying more of this company than nearly anything else over the last week or so. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And today we are going to be speaking about the company KE Holdings, ticker symbol B-E-K-E. -E. You can see here over the last seven days alone, ARK have added over 1 million shares of this company to their portfolio. Keep in mind, this is a 65 plus dollar stock. It's not a $10 stock or a 20 or even a 30. It's 65 plus dollars a share. And not only did they buy those million shares over the last seven days, if I bring you over here, you will actually see that across all of their different funds, they have close to four and a half million shares at this stage. So why are they buying this up so heavily? Am I interested in this company? What does the company actually even do? That's what we're going to speak about in today's video, my friends. And in case you have absolutely no idea who these companies are, because I didn't before I saw Ark was buying, they are the leading integrated online and offline platform for housing transactions and services in China. This company went public back on the 13th of August, so right in front of you I'm showing you the entirety of their stock history. And we're going to speak all about it today, my friends. But right before we do get into the video, into the juicy information, can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Help me become good friends with the YouTube algorithm. Drop me a comment down below once you've watched this video. Let me know what you think of the company. Also, let me know if any of you guys bought. I'm interested because it's different than what we we speak about on the channel most of the time and if you are already new around here my friends please consider hitting that juicy red subscribe button and joining the family of investors it helps me out massively and you won't miss any of my juicy videos and if you want to take it a step further than that hit the first link in the description and sign up to my private discord group in there you receive my buy and sell there so every single time i buy or sell anything you will be the first to find out about it you also get access to over 40 private channels and join a community of over 600 investors it is full of juicy value and if you want four free stocks hit the second link in the description and sign up to Weeble deposit $100 two of those stocks are valued up to $1,600 it's literally free money it couldn't be easier but anyway guys I have actually been looking at these guys for ages now because I have just been seeing Eric buy them every single day without fail I mean they've been in their top three four five buys for more than a week every single day now and when I see somebody like Eric invest doing that I mean I have to take a decent bit of a look into them, even if it's not my traditional company. So ARK as of right now, in the ARK have about 3.16 million shares, in the ARK W 1.17 million, and in the ARK F 170,000 shares. And you can see the daily buys, I mean look guys, literally every single day. Yesterday alone, more than $15 million put into this company from ARK. So again, just to reiterate, they're the leading integrated online and offline platform for housing transactions and services in China. We are a pioneer in building the industry infrastructure and standards in China to reinvent how service providers and housing customers efficiently navigate and consummate housing transactions ranging from existing and new home sales, home rentals to home renovation, real estate financial solutions and other services. So essentially everything you can think of in regards to housing. They own and operate China's leading real estate brokerage brand and an integral part of their platform. They believe their success and proven track record will pave the way for us to build the industry infrastructure and standards and drive the rapid and sustainable growth of BE. So they don't have an investor presentation but they do have this form F1 which again will just give you a decent understanding of what they actually do, what they've done so far. RMB of 2.1 trillion total GTV in 2019. Wow! 2.2 2 million transactions and a number one market share in China. I mean, China's a big place, my friends. So 456,000 plus agents, that's as of June 30th, 2020 as well, okay? 42,000 plus stores, 103 cities in China, and there's 226 million homes in a housing dictionary, 39 million mobile monthly active users, and 420 million views of VR property showing in 2019. So, Quite massive numbers being thrown around the place, but let's not just get enticed by the big juicy numbers. Thankfully, we have the Q3 unaudited financial results to go through here to, to confirm some of the big numbers we're seeing. But again, guys, right before we do that, they have a page on their iPhone here, our platform. This diagram illustrates the major components and synergistic benefits of our data-driven platform. So service offerings for existing homes, new homes, financial solutions, and home renovations. Platform participants, we have service providers, and housing customers makes a lot of sense and then infrastructures they have the data the transaction processes and the service quality so purpose-built digital solutions online agent cooperation network the operating system and community-centric touch points so the scale and financial performance as we said 2.1 trillion 
trillion RMB total GTV in 2019. So 1.3 trillion of that was in existing home sales and 0.7 trillion was of new home sales. 2.2 million total transactions 2019. Again, guys, this is, this is big. Essentially, it just comes down to it being very, very large. Now, what I want to show you guys next is this okay their third quarter results so gtv in us dollars so you guys have a better understanding was 154.6 billion dollars a massive massive increase of 87.2 percent year over year i mean that is absolutely huge and net revenue is okay three billion dollars and an increase of 70.9 percent the numbers seem incredible but just the line below net income was 11 million dollars and adjusted net income was 274 million dollars and that did represent an increase of 210 percent year over year now guys i want to show you something this company has a market cap of nearly 80 billion dollars so i mean everything's going up quickly everything's growing quickly but that net income is low very low now this is mainly attributable to cost of revenues okay they also increased 78 percent in the third quarter of 2020 so this is primarily attributable to the increase in split commission to connected agents and other sales channels and the increase in internal commission and compensation so I can understand this. This is going to be a way to grow quicker. And again, they're already the biggest, but to capture even more of the market share. But that is a huge cost in revenue, people, and ultimately is going to eat into any money they're going to make. So the company's cost of revenues for commissions to connected agents and other sales channels increased by 143%. And that was primarily attributable to the incremental increase in the number of new home transactions completed through connected agents. So at the end of the day, gross profit increased nearly 50% to 0.6 billion dollars and the gross margin actually came down to 21.3 percent compared to 24.4 percent in the same period of 2019 now again that's because um these things we just spoke about cost of revenues would have gone up so as of september 30th 2020 the combined balance of the company's cash equivalents restricted cash and short-term investments amount to 8.7 billion dollars now we do have quite a nice asset liability ratio look at our assets here 13.4 essentially we come down total liabilities at 5.8 so the balance sheet seems to be in decent order now i would like to show you something else that's quite interesting the ownership breakdown okay so individual insiders 44 percent this guy right here okay the founder and chairman of the board 40.5% of the company he owns. Now you will also see people like Tencent Holdings. You guys will all be aware of them. SoftBank, look, they have a huge stake here. Obviously we're speaking about Ark Investor loading up as well. We see BlackRock in there. Now a few more bits and pieces about the overall market. Great article here on Seeking Alpha, okay? The market growth. They already have about 20% of the total addressable market. The GTV of China's housing market is expected to further go at a compound annual growth rate of 6.6% by 2024 and the gtv of homes sold and leased through brokerage services market is expected to grow at 12.7 percent by 2024 driven by increased brokerage service penetration rate now here's something i want to speak about the commission rates so their existing home transaction division commission has declined from 2.5 percent to 1.6 percent this article believes that one of the reasons is more and more small brokerage agents who usually charge lower commissions have joined the platform now the new home transaction division has increased from 2.5 percent to 2.8 percent this is quite an odd trend to see now what i want to say is the agent commission rate okay china is right here at about two percent this is quite low compared to the United States at about 5.5%. We're already seeing some margins go down. I'm worried what if these percentages start to go up and it becomes a little bit harder for these guys to do even better. Now look, they are a massive player and it's an absolutely huge market. They're growing extraordinarily quickly. I can see why Eric would be loading up. I could see why anybody would be. But I do have my concerns. And then this author goes on to speak about the housing market correction as well, my friends. So the biggest risk of this company is housing price decline. People repeatedly heard about the housing bubble in China for the last 10 years. It is true that the housing price in China is not cheap from almost every affordable metric. A prolonged housing decline will depress transaction volume, which will hurt their profitability. Well, I mean, that's obvious. That's always going to be a risk that a company like this carries. Then if we go back to the Form F1, this is always something you guys should do when you're looking through these SEC filings. The table of contents, 
risk factors. You want to go through these risk factors. Now, these can go on for quite a while, so of course, I'm not going to read through all of this and bore you guys, but just really quickly, okay? Risks related to their business and industry. Our business is susceptible to fluctuations in China's residential real estate market and is subject to government regulations, of course. If we are unable to continue to provide satisfactory experience to housing customers, our business reputation may be materially and adversely affected. That's an obvious one as well. One to understand, we have a limited operating history under our platform business model and our historical growth and performance may not be indicative of our future growth and financial results. But this is, again, it goes for most companies. Our business has been and may continue to be adversely affected by the outbreak of the Roni and also what's going on with the housing bubble in China at the moment. We have incurred and may continue to incur net losses in the future and quite a bit more, my friends. So look, guys, I can see why you'd be very excited about this company. I really can be, especially when you do see people like Soft Bank and Arc Invest investing quite heavily, especially after this little dip that happened. Now, this dip did happen with quite a few Chinese stocks, and it just happened with a lot of stocks in general, let's be honest. I personally am not going to be investing, not necessarily even because I don't like the company or I don't believe in them, it's just not really for me. But I did just want to make this video for you guys, because because I do believe it will interest quite a few of you, and I doubt a lot of you guys have many real estate-related investments in your portfolio, so it could be a nice way to diversify if this is something you're interested in. But anyway, my friends, that is it for today's video. If you watched all the way until the end, you, my friend, are a true legend, and I really do appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy, you took some value, some insight, please consider hitting that like button. Drop me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new, because all of that helps me out so much. And again, if you want to join that private Discord channel, hit that first link in the description. Stop playing yourself. It's the best community in the game, baby. You get my buy and sell alerts, access to every private channel you can think of in regards to the stock market. It's awesome. And if you want those four free stocks, hit the second link in the description. Sign up to Weeble Deposit. $100. It's that simple. Anyway, my friends, I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you for another video very soon. Peace.